Around 13 years ago, I became fascinated by these stories about alien abduction, the Roswell incident, the government apparently capturing an ET from the Roswell incident, keeping him in an underground base, naming him J-Rod and quizzing him for several years until he unfortunately passed away. Stories about how these little grey beings are actually capturing humans and levitating them up through the ceiling of their house using some kind of interdimensional portal technology, taking them aboard their ships, extracting DNA, semen and genetic material for the creation of a human-alien hybrid species. Hello, Shivai, we are the Yael. So, the story goes as follows. So you've got to trust me on this one, guys. If you want to do your own research after this video, there's loads of information from all sorts of different stories, separate sources that corroborate this story. So trust me, dig deep after this video. So, the, gray, the Zeta Grey human, the Zeta Grey extraterrestrials, I'll get to that human bit in a minute. The Zeta Grey extraterrestrials, the ones from the Roswell crash, where the saucer crossed it, crashed in Roswell, very real story guys. The government captured a being known as J-Rod and kept him in captivity for several years. This is one of the classic grey ETs with the big black eyes, the big heads, the spindly bodies. It's all real guys, do your research after this call. So, video. <laughs> so, what happened is, the story goes as thus. The Zeta Grey extraterrestrials are actually parallel Earth reality humans from another timeline, I think somewhere in the future, who kind of destroyed their planet. What happened was this. They became very technologically advanced. They became very telepathic. They developed all sorts of interdimensional technologies, teleportation, flying saucers, anti-gravity, this kind of stuff. But they actually bred out of their civilization. They bred out of their civilization empathy, compassion, love, nurturing the feminine qualities and due to this they actually created a due to the law of attraction a reality a timeline for themselves where they kind of caused all sorts of cataclysms on our planet kind of like the 2012 doomsday stories you hear on this earth and the stories that you still hear and could potentially happen if we don't shift timelines through learning from the zeta grays guys so they created these cataclysms and they had to move underground and due to this they mutated and grew those big black eyes to allow them to see in the dark they actually mutated to the point where they were no longer able to reproduce probably due to breeding the emotion out of their civilization and so what they did they used their highly advanced technologies to tunnel through to other timelines other parallel realities other times to find civilizations, to find civilizations such as us, to, to provide viable genetic material, viable DNA, viable semen, viable eggs, to interject into their own species and create hybrid civilizations. Hello, hello, we are Zeta Reticulum. This is how we have become to be known in your civilization. We are those versions of yourselves from another timeline, from another future reality where things went haywire, things went awry, we lost direction, we lost focus, we lost understanding of the necessity, the necessity for love and compassion and nurturing and growth and what you may call the feminine energy. We became very oriented towards the masculine energies. We became very competent with our technological advancement. We became very competent with the idea of telepathic communication. We became very competent and very proficient in very many ways. But we forgot about love. We forgot about compassion. We forgot about empathy. We forgot, forgot about the feminine womb nurturing energies and we discovered from our destruction and now our interactions with your civilization and what we are learning from the hybrid species we have created that have returned from the future to share their perspective with us is that balance is necessary balance of the masculine and feminine balance of technology knowledge information mathematics physics technology with love compassion empathy nurturing growth 
sustainability, warmth, cuddliness, you may call it. Perhaps this is a good expression in your world. So we suggest you learn to embrace what we have learned. We suggest you learn to take on this information we are sharing with you. For if you don't, there are hazardous timelines ahead for parallel realities on many. Probable future timelines are an array of potentialities. And so now is the time for you to embrace this future reality. Now is the time to embrace this wisdom and begin to steer your world in a new direction, away from destruction. But we see your reality is going down the same path of obsession with technology, as a, of obsession with growth as you call it, but it's not really growth because it's not coming from the heart. It's not coming from the love and it's not coming from true wisdom. True wisdom stems from the heart, stems from intuition. You must learn to reconnect with your higher minds. You must learn to reconnect with your source, with God. You must learn to remember your spirituality for this is the only way you can find guidance that will save you in these tumultuous times, Earth humans. We look forward to you taking on this wisdom and we see you surviving this, but you must heed our warning. Good day. Hello, Shivai. We are the Yael. We are one of the five hybrid species the channel talks of. We came through from another dimension in your future timeline. We slipped back to this space in our past. <clears throat> For you are our forefathers. You are the creators of our species. You are the creators of our civilization. And it is at this time we would like to introduce ourselves more formally as a species that will be accelerating your introduction to the other hybrid species that will be introducing you more and more in a friendly manner to our Zeta Grey parents, those parallel reality version Earth humans from another dimension that almost destroyed their world. And so we will be all coming together in further interactions. Us, the Playel, the Shikani, the other hybrid species and the Zeta Greys. We will be forming circles perhaps in areas such as this in your Peruvian Andes where we will form circles, traditional powwow circles where we will sit round, form a communion and come to the best decisions in your future timeline as to how we can begin to turn your world around, begin to eradicate the pollution, begin to bring your seas back to health, begin to bring your forests back to growth, back to germination, back to well-being, to increase the oxygen levels on your earth to a more healthy, pure level, to begin to clean up your cities, clean up your streets, to begin to increase health in your civilization, to begin to inform your reality about what proper nutrition, what proper healthy exercise, healthy diet, healthy living consists of, to share the wisdom that we have learned about your civilization and also learn from our civilization and the production of the hybrid species, the hybrid children that are currently interacting with our ships. We are here to help you and we will come together in another future now. We are glad for you listening and interacting with us in this way. Good day. We love you, Earth humans. Good day. Hello, we are the Play L. Hello, hello humans, welcome. We are very glad to meet you at this time. We are a civilization that will be coming from the channel vocal calls more in the future. We very much like to play with your reality. We very much like to experience this shift you are going through at this time. We feel very joyful and very glad that you are finally able to communicate with our consciousness. For we have been somewhat on a frequency that your reality has not been ready for. Because we very much express the idea of high vibrational love, high vibrational joy, excitement, companionship, and amazing bliss and expression of reality. So we invite you to join into our frequency more in the future. These are exciting times, human. Your reality has reached the vibrational threshold where you can begin to interact with our civilization. Very welcome to communicate with us in the future. Good day, Earth humans. Shining out. Shabbat.